we have to ask ourselves, in what society are we living today? What are the organizing principles of society? Are they principles that lead to dignity or that lead to the destruction of dignity? Yeah. I personally believe that today uh, we don't live in a society that whose organizing principle is dignity. I think the organizing principle of a society is money. Uh, uh, that's, uh, that, that's, the, that's the reality of, of this society. I, 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 don't, I don't think in any way we, are, we have a society that is focused on money. I, I, I take issue. No, I don't. Really? really? Yes, he can. No, no, this I, is not making news according to CNN. No, this stop is, it. Are you coming from America? <laughs> Absolutely. Wow. Money, money, no, because money ultimately relates to, to why, do we, why do people want money? Because money is a tool, and it's a tool yeah. to provide opportunity and volition. Having money gives you the opportunity to exercise your volition. And in, in that sense, money is, is it's not a fetish, it's not a god, it's not anything else. It is simply a tool. Yes. And those who have more money have more opportunities, have more opportunities to e exercise their, their nature, to do good, to do evil, to, to what exercise their volition. And so, and so, therefore, it is simply a reflection of everything else we're talking about. It's but not you're, you're making the point uh, that money dominates because you're making the point that the more money you have, the more, the more, the more power you have, you make the point that money is really the structuring, uh, yeah. uh, the structuring force That's in that society. Point. Money in that sense is a tool, and government is a tool, and religion is a tool, and if you use those tools, money, government, power, religion, whatever, to deny people volition, to deny people the interrelation of, of humanists, then that is bad. Then that is but why is it for, for so many people it's not a tool? Well, yeah, but that's the problem. If you, don't, if you have it, it's a tool. If you don't have it, it's a perpetual daily humiliation and a difficulty. The kind of evil that keeps me awake at night is the more inhuman form of evil. And that is a bit closer to your question when we create systems. Uh, you mentioned algorithms that nobody understands. It's a bit of an exaggeration, but I do you think there is some truth of that. We are good at creating formal systems. If you wanted me to characterize modern civilization, it is that it's a formal society. We use formal rules to organize ourselves, and this has an amazing scalability. We can run much larger societies than ever before. But the downside is, of course, it might mean that you don't need the human relations. And many of these scalable algorithms, whether they are software or in robots, or in the form of bureaucratic rules governing a government or a university, take a life on their own. And then you get uh, what um, uh, uh, a very good blogger uh, uh, called a Moloch, from the, uh, 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 the god who you had the child sacrifices to. You set up something to give you value, whether that is a corporation or a government or an, uh, a defense system. And then it starts growing and it starts destroying value. You still need to join up with it because it forces you or because it's the best thing to do. And before you know it, you're working all the time and you don't have the time for those pleasures capitalism was supposed to give you or the government that was supposed to save the nation leads it straight into the abyss. So I think these Molochs, they are the real threat. Money is instrument. Uh, products of artificial intelligence are instruments. They demonstrated that they can lift loads that the human person or these muscles cannot lift. So these are all instruments in the hands of uh, the human person. And the instruments become whatever they become in the hands of the human person, the person who is using them. He can use them for noble yes. scopes and ends, he can use them for evil, whatever scopes and end. So money is an instrument. But when the pursuit of uh, acquiring this, either to increase your ability to whatever type of thing, makes you subject everything to the acquisition of this instrument, then something is gone awry. Then, then, then we get in, and it's happened. It's happened. And in several other forms which contribute to some of the list, your items on your list, human trafficking is to make money. And to, to feed brothels, to, to feed you know, all of those with people so people can have whatever. So there are, there are cases where uh, instruments take over and direct the pursuit and the aims of people in society. And that is when instruments cease to become instruments and they become the values, the dominant values of people's lives. And that's where sometimes we can be looking at evil. We're talking about evil, and evil is a great word, right? It's got kind of a serpent's tail and teeth, and it's terrifying. It's worth remembering when evil came to came to kind of came of age as a word that it would have been being talked about probably in Latin, and there is no distinction in Latin between evil and bad. 
So suddenly it becomes a more manageable concept. Marlem, they're both Marlem, which is incidentally also the Latin word for apple, which is why in the Garden of Eden, Eden. <laughs> they eat an apple, it's actually just a piece of fruit. They just like the pun. But my point is, is that while we would all hesitate, do you do evil? No, I don't do evil. Do you do bad? Well, hmm. And I actually think it's an easier discussion almost to think of the bad you do and the, and the ways in which you do bad rather than evil. And then suddenly you can see that with these many, many clicks that we do when we buy something from Amazon and, and support, a, support an industry in which workers have no rights, that these are the evils, these tiny, tiny, tiny incremental dying by a thousand cuts rather than evil that we do today is not... Evil sounds like me standing up from this chair, taking a sword and chopping someone's head off.